how I went from this to this. So the Arabic script not up. So I'm going to introduce you to a letter. Okay. How it looks officially. Your comments on what what my thing looks like. That's called meme. Like a meme? Yeah, M E E M. This is printed. Um, this is artistic. Um, and th- this is uh, artistic too. You see this little it makes a sound m. To write with this thing, it's just. So you like, start there, and then you just do a flex. Look at my sad meme. What do you think of this meme? <laughs> this reads "Apna time aayega." For those of you who know that reference, and the word "time" has a meme. No, but it's better than when you get there. <laughs> there. Yeah. I'm going from this. Yeah. And that is better. That it's is better, better, eh? It's not even not there. This is 17 December 2019. Okay. <laughs> I was working on my meme. Look. Oh. <laughs> not even close, right? No. Uh, no. It's not happening. <laughs> after six months. Honest of, opinion. This is after six months of writing on a ballpoint pen. Look at how many pages that is. This looks so good. Right? I'm What? so proud of that. Just yeah. Eurovision reference, which is like the mustache guy from. I was looking for an ugly one. That's why I couldn't find it. <laughs> <laughs> like this stroke is just. Come on now. Making things look good with calligraphy is. Yeah. Not bad, eh? Oh yeah. I'm impressed. Thanks. So you can definitely see the difference between the interpretation. There. Yeah, bro. I'm proud of this stuff. <laughs> A couple of days ago, I did this YouTube live where I was doing calligraphy, just the winding down part that I usually do. But this time I wanted to bring you guys in and share with you this winding down that I enjoy so much and I was blown away that Miharika, one of you guys Did the calligraphy with me? Watched me doing it and did it. And I was, I'm doing a special giveaway. This is the first one I'm doing on my channel, but I'm doing a special giveaway, sending out these pieces of art. Yes, I consider them art. Two of them say "Peace be upon you" and one of them say "Happy Eid." Or uh, Eid is also the Arabic word for a festival, right? Two of which I have your addresses. But Sankar Dev, bro, I have one more piece of art to send. <laughs> Today I have a special friend coming over in the evening and I have one target for the day to make my mom's chicken curry for this dude. चिकन करी बनाने के लिए आपको चाहिए चिकन हेलो दिस माय या द सेकंड फ्रेंड आई नो फ्रॉम ऑनलाइन दैट आई हैव नेवर मेट बिफोर अदरवाइज थैंक्स फॉर कमिंग मैन नाइस टू हैव यू फर्स्ट टाइम आई सॉ यू वाज ऑन इजी फ्रेंड्स वीडियोस एंड I remember I sent you a text on Instagram. I yeah. You, I said, Josh, I was so inspired by your video, and one day I don't know how, but I'm gonna be there and I'm gonna be with you, talk to you in person. Hello. Here I am. Well, welcome to Paris. I'm glad you're here. You're in ESCP, right? Yes. Damn, ESCP. that is a uh, college up there, man. How are you liking your internship and stuff? Uh, it's been amazing. So it, I just started. It's been like a week since I started. So so far I'm enjoying it, and I'm really into photography, film making, and everything. And I'm in the marketing side and communication. So like, if you're putting a pin on it, uh-huh. what is what is the real agenda? It's chicken curry, <laughs> right? <laughs> My mom's recipe, man. My mom has the best chicken curry recipe. Have you ever eaten the biryani sabha hal? Uh no. Have you? No, never. This is going to be my first time. <laughs> first time. Can you describe the cheese? My okay, favorite cheese. Il est onctueux. Oh la la. It's creamy. It's creamy. I More French words please, Josh. Crème. <laughs> Fromage. Fromage. Non, c'est pas un truc ça. Sorry? Do you want to share with us? Yeah. Every part of the column, bro. Huh? Every part of the column, bro. Super ambitious, and I'm um, definitely gonna come back for the <laughs> Paris Lanamari column. Chapter, you know. 
Just to call it, I'm going to call it. Thank you, Andy. Thank you for the recipe. Without setting stringent goals and deadlines, you know, I just like to sit down and do languages. Like when I'm free, like my Urdu, I did this with my French as well, to just enjoy it and sit down and do it, you know, to just wind down. That's what I do with my Urdu. I don't want to be an Ustad of Urdu calligraphy in three months and four days. When I'm winding down, I have an activity to do. And this was my French jam back in the day. Now it's just me consuming content or enjoying a movie. In another video, I said putting it in the back burner and just chilling with it. It just feels so good. Just after a couple of months, when you get somewhere where it was difficult to get, it gives me a high, you know, that now I can do something that I couldn't do before.